welcome back to my channel so on today's video I wanted to get into some of the things that I tend to do in order to make my period a little bearable or a little less harsh I mean obviously no female likes to be on their period whatsoever if you do like it like being on your period you're a weirdo and what planet did you come from because I personally I feel gross I'm bloated like crazy I feel like a fat cow I don't want to do nothing I'm more tired than usual it's just a hot mess I personally hate being on it but you always have to think of the positives and I feel as though honestly the only positive to being on your period is that you're not pregnant yay even though there's absolutely no freaking chance that I can get pregnant at this current moment, I still get reminded every single month, hey, congratulations, no babies in the oven, whoop, 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 whoop. But whatever, that's either here or there. So let's get into some of the tips and tricks that I tend to use to make my period a little bit more bearable. All right, guys, so let's start out with the obvious. Obviously, tads and tampons, tads and tampons. Pads and tampons. Some people like to use pads, some people like to use tampons, some people like to use tampons with panty liners, without panty liners. I feel as though I feel as though it's always been that famous debate. No, pads are better, da da da. Or, oh, tampons are dangerous, or oh, tampons are better, and blah blah blah. Me personally, the first two, three days, I tend to use both just because I do have that paranoia of oh my gosh, what if something leaks through the tampon and I end up getting a stain on my tan pants. I'm not trying to be walking around and all of a sudden an awkward red stain is near my butt. That's not cute at all. So I like to use both. Me personally, I like to use the brand U by Cortex. Yeah, U by Cortex. This is what the box looks like. I have to get the Super Plus because I bleed heavy and again I'm paranoid of leaking too much. So this is what the tampon itself looks like. Again, it's Super Plus so it's very big. Now granted, obviously some of you females that are just starting out having your period, I wouldn't recommend getting this size whatsoever. Um, it's that. I like, I really like how the packaging is. You didn't hear that. Anyways, I like how the, the way the tampon's set up is because it has a rounded tip. So it's a lot easier for you to actually insert it up in your hoo-ha instead of it being awkward. Because I know if you go to Dollar Tree and get their tampons, the way the tampon's in, it's like, it's, it doesn't have the round at all. It's just a straight, and then you push it up like that. And me, to me, that's extremely uncomfortable. It doesn't glide in as easy. So another reason why I definitely recommend these. Also, I get these at my local Family Dollar and they're really cheap. And I probably have to buy pads and tampons maybe like once every two, three months depending on how heavy my flow is. The main thing that I do use is tampons for my like ultimate, you know, wall of protection against leakage. But this is definitely my backup is pads. So this particular round, I got the U by Cortex pads. Granted, there's nothing too special about these. They're the same generic pads as all the other ones. Again, they don't, I haven't had any stains on my panties, so I'm happy about that because I know a lot of you females hate when you have to sit up here and have a cute pair of panties and then you gotta throw them away. By the way, apparently, I never tried this myself. If you put hot water and then also scrub it with baking soda, it's supposed to make the stain go away. Me personally, again, I'm not. Now obviously, another main thing that ladies don't like having to go through when they're on their period besides bleeding constantly out of their vagina <laughs> is cramps. Me personally, I'd rather be on my period for an extra two, three days than deal with cramps. Like cramps are the most aggravating, painful thing on the planet. I hate the way it feels. I feel uncomfortable. It's just not fun at all. Me personally, I know a lot of people like to use either Tylenol or Aleve, Ibuprofen, Advil, Midol. For the longest time when I first started it, I used Midol, but then recently in the past couple years, I've actually switched to Ibuprofen. Me personally, I like Ibuprofen because A, it works. B, the pills are very small, so they're easier to swallow. And C, they're also a bit of a blood thinner. 
so it actually helps at least to me I mean honestly I'm not a scientist I'm not a doctor yet but I have noticed that me personally after I take ibuprofen I don't bleed as heavy granted it's not in like the next two seconds but like give it about another hour or two and I don't bleed as heavy so that's definitely a plus for me and maybe also for some of you guys that might be willing to try it especially during the summer say if you have a pool party you're supposed to go to or you're supposed to go to a beach or a water park and you really don't want to cancel and you still really want to go and you're a little scared of bleeding heavy just pop two ibuprofen make sure you eat something first pop two ibuprofen and then you should be fine again it's rare that I actually go swimming while I'm on my period. I usually wait until, like if I'm on the first day or the fifth day, then I'll go swimming. But any day in between that, I wouldn't risk it. That's just me personally. The specific ibuprofen that I like to use that I've been using for a little while now is this specific one. I usually get this at Family Dollar because it's literally right up the street from my house, so it definitely does help. And then I do like the fact that it comes in these little tablets. So again, it's extremely easy to swallow compared to other pills and all that good stuff. And again, for me, it usually takes about, I would say like 20 to 25 minutes before my cramps do go away. I make sure I pop two of them again, like right, maybe like right before I take a shower, before I'm getting ready for bed so I don't have to worry about tossing and turning and trying to get comfortable. Another thing that I like to do to help combat cramps is I actually read somewhere online that dairy products make your cramps even worse. Dairy, so AKA milk, yogurt, ice cream, anything related to that. Now, also ladies, when it comes to not only cramps but also bloating, try to stay away from sugary or carbonated drinks such as soda stay away from juices that have a lot of sugar in them preferably you know aka arizona <laughs> sorry to break some of you's hearts but yeah arizona is one of them again i'm not a doctor this is what i personally experience cutting certain foods out of my daily intake while I'm on my period. This has definitely helped reduce my cramps. I usually don't have to take ibuprofen the whole duration of my period. I usually have to take it for the first maybe two days to two and a half days and then after that I won't have to worry about taking it anymore but compared to when I was still eating and drinking those things I had to take it the whole entire time because my cramps were just a hot mess. Another tip I wanted to share with you guys is also drink water granted for ev literally every single thing whether it's your face your body weight loss weight gain cramps water water is like the universal thing when it comes to your body and making your body healthier and also better and just run smoother and have you feeling more comfortable <laughs> Drink water. Also, obviously, the more water you drink, the more you have to go to the bathroom and the more you have to go to the... I'm so over these people. Anyways, the more you drink water, the more you're going to go to the bathroom and the quicker your period blood will leak out of your vagina. So water, definitely, definitely. The only thing you should be drinking is water. Stay away from coffee because that makes your cramps worse as well. See, there's so many things that we love so much that just don't agree with cramps and then we wonder why we're so miserable and in she whenever we're on our period. So obviously, you don't want to feel like a fat cow. Obviously, you don't want to be struggling to fit into a lot of your favorite outfits, especially if you have a special occasion coming up. So one of the many things I like to do to help combat that is wear a waist trainer. Ladies, also another important thing to do is, especially with school coming up, dress for the occasion. Do not try to wear the same old outfits that you may usually wear when you're not on your period. Say, body suits and high-waisted jeans. Like, don't try to wear tight on tight. Don't want, try to wear a tight shirt with tight jeans and some tight shoes and everything is just tight, 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 tight. Because A, you're gonna feel upset that you look really bloated and you look bigger than you are, and B, you're just not gonna be comfortable. Especially 
going back to school and having to deal with people in your face all the time. You wanna be the most comfortable as you can possibly be. So the number one thing that I tend to do when it comes to fashion is I'll either wear a cute baby tee and some sweatpants or I'll even wear a loose t-shirt and my high-waisted jeans. So if you have to wear at least something tight, just don't make it your top and your bottom. Make it one top tight or one top bottom and then vice versa. When you're on your period, you just have to dress in track suits and sweatpants all the time and that's not the case. So you can wear cute outfits, especially if you're going out on a date or again, you're already planning on going to a party, just dress for the occasion. Try to stay away from wearing tight bodycon dresses if you know that your stomach bloats like crazy. Try to wear loose cute blouses but again high-waisted jeans to help tuck your stomach in but you're also not super uncomfortable. And then the last tip that I have for you guys is a period tracker. That honestly really, really, really helps me with A, being mentally prepared for my period and B, also planning things. You, I'm the type of person that I usually get that first little period cramp about a day before I actually start leaking. So I can actually prepare myself like, all right, this tomorrow or next day or whatever, let me make sure that I have either a pad on or at least extra pads and tampons in my purse just in case I do start to leak and I'm out and about or I'm at work. All right guys, so those are some of my tips and tricks on how to survive your period or at least make it a little bit more bearable. Thank you guys so much for clicking on here. Don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe down below. Helps your girl a lot, thank you. Much appreciated. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.